the iron fist of the underworld. The true crime story of Louis Lepke Bushalter, the rise of a crime lord. Louis Lepke Bushalter was born on February 6, 1897 in New York City to a modest Jewish immigrant family. From a young age, Louis was drawn to the criminal underworld, joining street gangs and participating in illegal activities. As he grew older, his ruthlessness and cunning would propel him through the ranks of organized crime. During the 1920s, Lepke formed a partnership with fellow mobster Jacob Gura Shapiro, and together they built a criminal empire focused on labor racketeering. Lepke's operations infiltrated unions across various industries, including garment, trucking, and bakery sectors. With an iron fist, he extorted businesses, demanded kickbacks, and ordered violent strikes against those who resisted his control. In the early 1930s, Lepke and his longtime associate recognized the need for a centralized group of professional killers to carry out mob hits. This led to the formation of Murder, Inc., a deadly syndicate of hitmen responsible for countless murders. Lepke became the group's mastermind, directing the assassinations and ensuring the mafia maintained its grip on the criminal underworld through fear and violence. Under Lepke's command, murdering carried out brutal hits, often disposing of their victims in grisly ways. His reputation as a ruthless and calculating mob boss earned him the nickname The Judge, as he was the one who decided who lived and who died. Lepke's criminal empire continued to expand and at its height, he was considered one of the most powerful mobsters in America. However, his brutal methods and relentless pursuits of control would ultimately prove to be his undoing. In the late 1930s, law enforcement began to crack down on organized crime, and Lepke found himself a wanted man. After going into hiding for several years, he was eventually captured in 1941. His trial for racketeering and murder was highly publicized, and his conviction on both charges marked a significant blow to the Mafia. His story reached its grim conclusion on March 4th, 1944, when he became the only major mob boss to be executed in the United States. His death in the electric chair at Sing Sing Prison signaled the end of an era of unchecked mob power and began a major effort by law enforcement to bring down organized crime. The story of Louis Lepke Bushalter is a harrowing tale of ambition, brutality, and the relentless pursuit of power. His rise to prominence in the criminal underworld and his role as the mastermind behind Murder, Inc. made him one of the most feared and respected mob bosses in history. His violent reign and ultimate downfall serve as a stark reminder of the dark and dangerous world of organized crime.